But first this evening, a teenage boy who almost died in a Toledo house fire this spring met the fire crews who saved his life. 15-year-old Joseph Faisenbacher died in that fire, but his stepbrother, 14-year-old Michael Reinbolt, survived. The fire broke out on Willard Street, May 2nd. Crews from Station 5 responded that day. Today, family members toured the station and said thank you to the crew. 13 ABC Center Aura has this update you will only see on 13 ABC. It's, it was pretty difficult to, you know, thank you just really isn't much enough, is it? 14-year-old Michael Reinbolt has been through a lot. He lost his stepbrother Joseph Faisenbaker in the house fire, suffered severe burns himself, and underwent multiple surgeries. But says it's an honor to finally meet the crew that saved his life. Since I got out of the hospital, I always wanted to meet the firefighters, and it took a while. I'm glad I finally got to see him today. They're so nice, and we just we don't even know how to thank them. I mean, what do you what do you say to them for you know saving your son's life? Um, we, we owe them, we owe them whatever they need, we would do it for them. <laughs> we just, we're just so in awe by it all. Yeah, you know, regular scuba gear and... The men and women at Station 5 say they were thrilled to be able to give Michael a grand tour. For them, this reunion comes full circle. And this is a wonderful, uh, just a wonderful gift, and I'm glad that he's doing well. And he's, Michael's a true hero in this, his fight and strength uh, that he persevered and put up and is doing well, true testament to the strength. It's really great to see because I, I actually have a son about the same age, same size, and that's what it's, when, you, when they lose a child, it's very hard, it's hard on us along with the parents because we try our best to do everything we can and we'll take great risks to save lives. Captain Mike Posadny says he found Michael buried under a mattress on the second floor. Because he was buried under his mattress, that, that kept some of the thermal heat. He had a, quite a few burns on him, but he was also covered <laughs> by, by that. And it was, a, it, was, it was divine intervention, as, I, as we say. Michael is now back in school as an eighth grader at Toledo Technology Academy. He will have to wear these compression garments on his arms until springtime. Michael's resilience is inspiring. He goes through every day like nothing ever happened to him. As you may remember, 17-year-old Cassie Brandeberry is accused in setting that deadly fire. She is being charged as an adult with murder. She's expected to be back in court for a hearing on Tuesday. Reporting tonight, Senator Aura, 13 ABC Action News.